Every time people mention the roleplay community in 14, it's almost always something negative. And honestly, as a roleplayer myself, mm -hmm. I have to admit, we are not that good at painting a good picture for the community. We paint some juicy rule 34 though. Whenever we see something about the roleplay community in 14, it's either something really unhinged like that billboard drama, or the <laughs> extreme roleplayers in the Balmain quicksands, or the bunny boy hooters, or people selling feet pictures in the party finder, or the cool <laughs> Hello, it's Ava Katz. I've been roleplaying on Final Fantasy XIV for years now, and I have seen some things I wish I could just scratch out of my brain. Yeah, the things. True, it's always like, if you do, you want feet pictures? Add me on Discord. You see on Discord or Twitter are true. We are what people call cringe. But that's not gonna stop us from roleplaying, is it? As a connoisseur of cringe myself, it's my god-given duty to expose you to the strange world of Final Fantasy XIV roleplay. Today, I'll categorize Final Fantasy roleplayers into 10 different types for educational, scientific purposes. So sit back, sit Educational purposes, we need this. Ride. Balmung Quicksense Dwellers. Let's just start with the most- Oh, gotta change where my- my camera is apparently it's blocking let's just start with the most obvious one balmon quick sense is a gold shire of 14. it's where the expectations are low and the ground is always sticky as soon as you ah. will be greeted by a varying accumulation of naked people and trust me what they are seeing on their screens is very different from what we are seeing right now Final Fantasy true has a very creative modern community most of the people roleplaying here are not even on their main roleplay characters why would they be on your main when they can just create a level one bunny girl glamorous girl of quickly you know that is so true like no one really goes to balmung quicksands on their main and if they're going on their main they're not really there to like actually role play like every time i go to balmung with my main and nobody freaking talks to me because they're like they know they're like this is just a person from a different data center with their ultimate weapon this is a normal player coming to see Balmung quicksands for all that it is and they're not actually here to role play so they can they know they know not to even like talk to you yeah i don't get any whispers when i go there even if i'm a cat girl they just know i'm a normie Anyway, this place is a hall of shame for most role players, but it remains to be one of the most popular places to role play for obvious reasons. People be horny and there's no way to escape it. Just turn around slowly and look away. This is not the place to come if you're looking for any kind of story or character development. The Pillar Flower You'll often find this role player near a pillar doing the lean emotes. They always have the RP tag on, but they never participate in anything. These role players never take the first step and approach other people. They can stay there for hours and hours for <laughs> a single word until someone approaches them. They are usually very shy out of character. That's but if like you give them a chance, you'll find out some that of one encounter. Are your writers. I guess they have so much free time to practice until someone actually approaches them. The clueless guy who just level boosted to 80. I think the name of this type explains it pretty well. These role players don't know much about the lore and they have no interest in playing the story. They usually play 14 for role playing only and that's what they're gonna stick to. Which is honestly a valid reason to play 14 if that's your poison. They're pretty quiet and they don't get involved until they feel comfortable with the lore. The character what is little son? Is usually <laughs> another version of either a DD character or another OC they've been writing somewhere else. Oh, th that's basically a person from World of War. Warcraft just playing boosted to 80 and, and keeping their story from their RP WoW character and just playing on FF. Yeah, okay, I can see that. There's, there's so much lore they can find on the internet. Once they get comfortable with the lore, there's a 50% chance that they will turn into the next type. The Elitist. You wanted to have fun? That's not a lot here. These role players have a certain type and they'll judge you if you don't role play the way they want to role play. They have a firm grasp on the lore and they'll use it to tell you how bad you are. Most role players like this forget the Oh, main they have control. Just to have a good time. It's okay to have personal preferences and favorite themes, of course, in role play. It only becomes a problem when you impose these personal preferences to the other players. Because these players have a tendency to do that, they are usually the reason why drama starts in most groups. No one's forcing you to to role play with those people you don't enjoy the writing of. In my personal experience, if you have strong preferences for role play, you are better suited to a group where you share these preferences with the other people. It's just not gonna be easy to find that group if you keep being a judge a piece of sh venue employees. <laughs> piece of shit. Role players must love working so much. The venue employees. Nice the ones that work um, for FC events. Final Fantasy 14 and they work another shift for fictional money. They have endless possibilities. They could role play as an adventurer, a your hunter and they still choose to be the waitress i'll personally never 
Yeah, that's so wild to me that they have like a full work shift in the day with their normal job and then they come back home, log into FF and they're like, I'm gonna do more work. <laughs> I'm a role play as a like a Vera working at the bar. <laughs> it's probably really fun to them, you know, because they meet a lot of interesting people. I don't know. I don't know if I I don't think I could do it. Even when I just like stand in the club and dance around like with my character, I I can never see myself being a bartender at like at an event. My husband has role played as a bodyguard before. Oh, cute. It's a lot of fun. Great icebreaker. I guess you, you are doing something. So at least that could you could easily slide into a conversation. You're like, here's your drink or like, how's it going? Like, I, I think it's a good conversation starter for sure. If you're like working at an event understand the appeal of roleplaying as an essential worker but i have to admit creates a great front for other roleplay teams you get to meet so many other role players while working in venues and if you dig deeper you'll find out most of these venues and free companies have some other storylines going on i think these places are great for newer role players to make some connections just choose the venue carefully please there are some creepy people in every roleplay community you stay safe out there the bad guy Okay, Ooh. your honor, I'm guilty. I love a well-written villain. I think I make it very obvious whenever I mention him at Sulk. These role players usually roleplay in a criminal setting. They can be pirates, a group of thieves, or yakuza. These role players are either a blast to roleplay with or a pain in the tail. There is just no in between. It can be so much fun to write a bad character, but I feel like some people get too much into character and they'll start talking like an anime villain even they're not in character. Bro, chill. <laughs> you are in your pajamas playing Make believe with a bunch of random <laughs> people on the internet. Let's be honest, none of us showered in the last two days. Don't take it too seriously. <laughs> the depressing adventurer. This role player has been role playing as the same character for years. And naturally, because we writers love to just torture our characters so much, their characters been through some traumatizing stuff. Once you start role playing with them, you'll get overwhelmed by the background story they trauma dump on you. They tell you how their mother died in childbirth, how their father was abusive, and how their significant other was killed by their best friend who turned against them. It sounds a lot, but when you consider everything is depressing for the, in the their character, six years, it's not that much. They probably get so much time and effort to this character that it became their baby. Even though it's a bit depressing to play this character right now, it's hard to give up on. Trust me, I will know. The Clubber. This is the kind of role player who just goes to the nightclub venues and emotes. Half of the time they are not even actual role players. They just go to those venues to socialize and observe if there's any role play going on. It's a good way to Oh my god, half of the time they're not even our peers. Oh my god, I'm getting called out. <laughs> yeah, like there's a bunch of like Players who just want to see what it's like. They saw the ad on P Party Finder. They're like, let's go check it out with some friends. Sometimes I go on, on voice call with my friends and we just like laugh about stuff and what's going on in, in the clubs. But yeah, I do think there are people in there who definitely RP. Like they'll start whispering you in clubs and try to RP with you to spend time in 14 while waiting for the resets. They are most likely sitting in the voice chat with their friends and chilling at the same time. The guy who uses roleplay as a front to find a significant other. Remember the creep. Yo, this is every time I get a role playing, a role playing uh, drama story. It's it's this. I think I think these are the, the bad guys of the story. Let's go listen to it again. Significant other. Remember when I told you there are weird people out there? I was talking about this guy. This role player cannot tell the difference between in character and out of character. You'll start role playing with them only to realize they are kind of creepy. They might stalk you in game and they'll send you passive aggressive messages if they see you role playing with someone else. It's just not the kind of person you want to role play with if you want a story. Their intentions are obviously something else. Just save yourself before things get weird. And last but not the least. Yeah, their their intentions is to actually um erp <laughs> get it off <laughs> not actually and it, yeah like their rp always leads to sex <laughs> what's important of them all the warrior of light this person role plays as god they know everything about your role plays as god including your character's backstory and weakness Lahabria is their second cousin they are so powerful that their ether is blinding they are the most talented sportmaster from the east and a black mage and a white mage at the same time. They have died several times, but they came back. The gates of hell were just too weak to keep them down. Do you want to <laughs> challenge them for a fight? <laughs> Foolish thing. You cannot win against them. They have plot armor. Just skip this one. Hey, it's me again. The people that 
have like characters that are just like god it reminds me of like when i play with my niece like i go over to my sister's place and i i like my niece has like pokemon toys and she's like you be that pokemon okay and you fight me and i'm like okay i'll fight you and she always wins i can never win i can never win she wants to be the all powerful best pokemon and i think those are the <laughs> Which is a very, like, childish, immature thing, right? Like, you always want to be, like, the strongest, like, the main character. And so people in the role-playing scene who want to be, like, godly and, str like, no one can beat them. Like, I just kind of think they're, like, children <laughs> who want to be the strongest. The way you enjoy it. I made this video just for fun and you should be role-playing for the same reason. Just for fun. Don't let any of these stereotypes hold you down. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all the support and I'll see you in my next video. Stay cozy. You know, I really like her videos too. I dropped into her, like some of her videos recently and we should definitely subscribe and like. But I have noticed something. Her thumbnails, Lucy Pyre, Kaugen, and her thumbnails kind of look similar. <laughs> like, are they the same person? Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> nah, it's just probably it's probably because those thumbnails work. It's always like white font with red. I think her thumbnails also. You're right. I'm not. There we go. Oh my god! And then and then and then and then wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> it's all like red fonts red and white fonts similar i mean you guys know it's me because it's like always got my face <laughs> i just i just start adding red font